My darn canoe just busted a leak. Well, how'd that do? I darn hit a rock, boy. Well, the ball wreck, you should probably get yourself something stronger well, next like, time. Like what you need? You can get some concrete. I don't concrete. know. That's pretty, that's pretty strong some, stuff. Some concrete? What you mean? You ever seen a concrete canoe bust a hole in it? I ain't seen no concrete canoe at all. Well, who's thought that be? <laughs> I reckon, I'll tell you what. My great aunt Susie, she told me once upon a time, she said concrete's the future. It's the future? The future. Not in a boat. <laughs> I'll tell you what. We'll think. We'll, we'll see what we can do. All right? We go to NC State. We think and do the extraordinary. I found me a connect. Oh! <laughs> you go, you go, shoot! Ain't a good you, one, man. You broke it, you broke it. About, I'm sorry, man. Yeah, give me a note. Give, all right, all right, let's keep looking. Let's we go. might find some other ones. Oh, boy, boy, boy. Look at here, boy. Oh, you got a good this Yo. time. Yo, let's go try it out. Let's do it. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. Maybe you boys are in a dilemma. Well, maybe the engineering design cycle can help us out. Let's take a look. The engineering design cycle is a never-ending process that promises a better solution that continues to improve as trials increase. The first step of the design cycle is to ask. By this, I mean to ask questions concerning your problem, such as the constraints and what the actual problem is. In your case, looking at common problems with concrete canoes and the guidelines required to fit the competition. Next, we have Imagine. Try to brainstorm as many possible solutions to your problem. So think of different concrete mixtures and ones that will yield the best water displacement and lightest weight. Now we need to plan. Try drawing or creating 3D models through different programs and try to gather all the required materials. For instance, concrete, aggregates, molding materials, and tools like buckets and trowels. And now we can create the canoe. Build it according to your plans and try to stick to them as much as possible so you know what to change the next time around. Test the canoe to see if it fits the guidelines and if it actually floats. Once this is completed, we can now look to improve our canoe and make it as best as possible. We can select a new problem with the canoe and start working towards answering it by doing the process all over again. There is never a perfect solution, so the cycle can be repeated an infinite amount of times, with each yielding a better final product than before. Also, boys, don't overthink it. Hey everyone, so to wrap things up, uh, we're laying you in on all the secrets of how to make a great canoe. So, lesson one, start early. Start a week before you think you should start. The sooner that you begin, the sooner you can work out all the mistakes that you don't think are going to happen, but will happen. My recommendation for future students would be to always have a backup plan. For example, when we tried to make our own concrete, it didn't work out too well, and we had to scramble a little bit to try to find a replacement. If we would have planned ahead and had another backup plan just in case our concrete didn't work, it would have made things a lot simpler. Number two, ratios are key. Just a little too much water and everything will run down the side. Not enough and it'll crumble before your eyes. Uh, one of them, my number one would be to start earlier so you could get uh the best canoe possible. You could deal with different uh, types of ratios and mixtures of aggregates to cement and water to uh, just make the best possible canoe and you need a lot of time to be able to do that. When you're making the mold you want to get as much volume as you can so that you displace as much water and you can carry as much as possible. So you want to make your mold, you make sure you make the mold less than the dimensions that they give you if you're doing a mold that you're just going to put it onto that way you know it fits in the box um, but also don't you don't have to make a V like this if you're making a V like this you're sacrificing all this space where you could have it curved so try and you know carve the mold down and then make it curved so that you get as much volume as possible and therefore you're gonna carry as much as possible communication it helps when you have your team in one dorm but that doesn't happen most of the time. So you need to have clear communication as to when and where you're going to meet. And you also need to know how much you're going to get done so you can use your time as efficiently as possible. Uh, always test your ideas and never knock them until you try them. Because when you're dealing with something maybe you haven't had any experience with in the past, uh, you're not sure how it's going to uh, go until you actually try it. So definitely try it. And then if it doesn't work, then go back to the drawing board and restart it like that. Number five, have fun. 
This isn't planned to overload you, so take your time and enjoy the ride. At the end, you're probably going to look back and smile at it. Number six, finally, look good and don't die. But if you are going to die, make sure you look good while doing it.